The excitement of Churchill Downs is often what draws big crowds to the track. But for veteran jockey Patricia Cooksey, all right, you want to do that? Oh, yeah. It's here on the backside where she feels most comfortable. We're, we're family. Um, everybody here works hard. Cooksey says as a woman jockey in a predominantly male sport, she had to put in twice as much effort to get recognized. And it wasn't until she started going by PJ, her first and middle initials, she received more opportunities. It was uh, pretty comical when I walked out to the paddock, you know, and uh, extended my hand to the trainer. I had hair, you know, out my helmet, and I said, hi, I'm PJ Cooksey. And he said, oh, my God, you're a girl. <laughs> I said, yes, sir, I've been that way all my life. Cooksey went on to win stakes races and became the second woman ever to ride in the Kentucky Derby in 1984. In 1985, she was the first woman to ride in the Preakness, the second leg of the Triple Crown. But in 2001, her health took a turn when she was diagnosed with breast cancer and had a mastectomy. It's always there as to whether or not it will come back. And, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of tough. You live with that, you live with that every day, every year. In 2008, she was approached by Kentucky First Lady Jane Bashir and encouraged to use her story to help even more women facing those same fears. Through a partnership with the Kentucky Cancer Program, she helped launch a project called Horses and Hope. The initiative encourages people on the backside to get breast cancer screenings, as well as provide education and treatment. We've found several women who, you know, were in the first or, you know, latter stages of breast cancer even, and we've gotten them the help that they need. And although Cooksey is now retired from racing, her devotion to ensuring workers have access to resources for early detection hasn't faded. Don't, don't wait. Don't put it off. Just do it now, get it done, and take care of yourselves. Jamie Mace, WLKY News.